We'll show you how their friends and neighbors honored them tonight. John Henry is live at Annapolis tonight with that part of the story. Hi, John. Hi, Leslie. Yeah, the residents of Annapolis came together tonight in a moving display of love and support, all to remember the friends they lost. This is the staff of the Capitol Gazette, just one day after tragedy struck the heart of their news family. Wendy Winters, Rob Hyacin, Gerald Fishman, John McNamara, and Rebecca Smith are not going to be making this march with us today. They don't get to go home to their families. Their families don't get to have them because of something that didn't involve them. But Friday night, Annapolis would come together and show that staff it is not alone. They're so deeply dedicated to their craft and so dedicated to this community. Uh, they, they just cannot be replaced. Are you surprised to see so many people here? It's a community here that cares deeply. They marched from the State House down Maine to the waterfront, capturing the attention of each and every person nearby. Trudy McFall was one of thousands to pay her respects. I serve on the editorial board of the Annapolis Capitol. She saw the Capitol Gazette's dedication firsthand. I wanted to come and say it. These are your friends. These are my friends. And while under immense grief, this new staff still took time like it does every day to deliver a simple message to Annapolis. Always remember the men and women they lost. We are not going to forget them, and we don't want other people to forget them. Now, that was Phil Davis of the Capitol Gazette staff, and he added, those victims' families will probably need all the support they can get in these coming weeks, especially when it comes to paying for funeral expenses. From downtown Annapolis, John Henry, W. USA 9.